Most people travel to enchanting places to the pages of a book, but those who are lucky enough to travel in person find it rather magical. No wonder it looks like we're being swallowed by Mancha the Whale. We're out to the beach and we're going to a magical place called Storybook Land. Now our stories begin with Once Upon a Time, but ours begins with a big bad wall, so there's always after the three little pigs. This case in between us and our left, but thankfully the three little pigs have off on our right, and the houses are made of straw. I will just sit on the corner on our left hand side is the small English village and it's off to Alice. So in golden afternoon, she follows the white rabbit and goes down, down, down into Wonderland. But if that's not your cup of tea, that's all right because her story continues on her right hand side with Arkin Fog. Well, this is Rosita's hat and the darling children sleep to Neverland with the help of Stinker Bob and a little bit of Pussy Stinger. Now I'm going to show you how to see Roger the city of Agrabah where the street route Aladdin first met Princess Jasmine in the market and stole her heart. And with the help of the genie they fell in love and they know the top of the upper option in the Golden Palace. Very simple. Put the two stars without a lattice, pour it over on their magical treasure right to a whole new world. Let's bring out how to see wonders for a lattice, princess, and genius, and then Blessings to us, whoever does this, you can see what we can do. Start to say wishes. Now let's all make a wish and hope that it comes true. Setting up on our right is the small mm -hmm. cottage that is home to Snow White in the Seven Doors. And up in that corner are the Seven Doors singing while they work. And to our left is the story of Cinderella. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother forbade it. But with the help of her fairy godmother, she was granted that wish and danced the night away with her charming. But as we all know, Cinderella didn't make it back home in time and her carriage turned back into a pumpkin. It can still be seen to this day up on that bridge. But don't worry, friends. She and Prince Charming fell in love, and they now live happily ever after in the peak castle above us. Coming up on our left is Mr. Toad Stately Manor. But sorry, friends, it doesn't look like he's home right now. As he's off on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. And just after that is the magical kingdom of Arendelle, home to Queen Elsa, Princess Anna, and a few other of our magical friends. And straight ahead is the Alpine village that is home to the woodcarver Geppetto. This is where he wished upon a star for his son of Pinocchio to become a real life boy. The story is the story of Princess Ariel, who 
were right in the castle with you, I'm from Derek, the castle, you guys are out there. And just behind that waterfall, it's the city of Atlantica.